Hello and welcome to Regina Tarot. I'm Regina and I am here with another unboxing and walkthrough video. This is the Tarot of the Cloisters. I haven't unwrapped it yet. It came in a little plastic bag that I did open and there is this little tiny paper guidebook that came with it. Um, so Tarot of the Cloisters, it's a round deck created and illustrated by Michelle Levitt, uh, published by U.S. Game Systems. Um, and then on the box, when you get this deck, um, you can also get a downloadable guidebook by scanning this code, which I thought was interesting, um, only because I've, I have not received a deck that had that on it, as far as I have noticed, anyway, as I tend to like my paper things. I spend so much time staring at a screen that, um... I think something that's sort of analog is is the nice thing, you know, it feels luxurious now. Um, so anyway, so let's get started opening this up. This is interesting to me because it's a round deck and I have not worked with any um, circular decks in the past. So I've been very curious. Okay, so I did start the corner, but this is not helping me, which means we've got to go off screen and grab a tool for a second. There we go. You might hear a fan in the background. I'm not sure how loud that is, how it comes through on the speakers, but um, I do have my AC going. I was trying to um, power through without it, but it's very humid where I am right now. And uh, it's like, it's better to be comfortable rather than cranky and distracted. Especially when we're looking at art. So I'm also interested to see Sort of the satisfying sort of sound there. <laughs> um, stained glass. It looks like the deck, I think, I have seen one before. I'm sure there's other walkthroughs. It may be that I stumbled across one where I noticed the stained glass art. So it is a little bit of a flimsy box. I am having trouble because I'm trying not to mess up my nail polish. Which I don't know what it is. Me and nail polish, like, I am always screwing up my nail polish. I'm struggling a little with this. Alright. Give me. Okay, so it's sort of stuck. Let's see what's going on on this side. Nope, stuck over there too. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there we go. So, for me to get that out without, or open without tearing it, um, if you look at the lip here, just if you guys end up ordering this deck, um, that was kind of like really wedged under these little flaps. Um, so I had to, I grabbed a, like a file to push it up um, from underneath here. So, just so you know how I managed to do that <laughs> without destroying it. Um, and let's see. Nothing fancy. The box. Ooh. I think I'm going to like these. That's really nice. So they're a good size. I have a feeling they'll probably... Sh they'll probably shuffle better than I'm anticipating, but also... Um, I feel like they're going to roll out to the side, like, as I'm shuffling, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I could be over-anticipating drama. Um, so here's a size comparison. It's the Rider Waite Smith deck. Just so you know, I'm looking at the width a little bit wider, much shorter. I could break out a ruler, but I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, so let's um, let's walk through them. There's the back. Purple is my favorite color, so that makes me happy. That design. Or should we start from the bottom? We know that's the King of Swords. Let's start. Oh, wow. Okay, so the order is different. So I'm just going to go as I normally would with the backs facing up. So we've got the Knight of Swords there. I do think that's pretty. Let's see if we can... Nice little close-up of my fingertip for a second. Let's see... 
the King of Swords. I think I kept saying Knight for some reason. The Ten of Swords. Okay. So the depictions are pretty close. It seems like so far to the original art. Um, except it's got that stained glass and the round. It's very interesting. The thing about circles for me and the roundness of it, and one of the things that I thought was interesting in terms of having a round deck is like the circle always, always represents a cycle of some kind and that the wheel turns always. So in each card, you almost have this like layer of meaning because of that, a reminder in each particular case, whether it's good or bad, that this will pass. Uh, Nine of Swords. It's interesting, the order. Eight of Swords. The Seven of Swords. The Six. Here's the Five of Swords. Actually, let's flip these around because for some reason I did it that way, but my hands are covering the art as I'm flipping, so let's see. I wonder where the queens are. There wasn't a queen in there. Okay, the Four of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Ace. Okay, there's a queen. Queen of staves. Look at the sunflowers. Oh, I'm not going to say it. Yes, I am. Okay, so this is interesting because the construction of the face here sort of reminds me a little bit of that. Um, do you remember that um, painting... It was a religious painting that was like, someone said they could restore it, and then they very famously did something radically different. <laughs> um, something about, I think it's, it might be the color, it's the colors and shapes, is like something that evokes that. I don't think that's intentional, but... Um, It's just a weird association I'm making, and that may have meaning later. I have no idea, but um, it's interesting. Maybe something about, like, rushing without a plan. I don't know. Page of Staves. These really do want to slide everywhere. Cardstock is, you know, card cardstock's okay. Um, again, like you guys know that I'm not a huge, um, cardstock person, but like this thinner cardstock to me feels easier to shuffle, but you wouldn't do a riffle shuffle with a deck like this. So I don't know. Knight of Staves. They really, yeah, they do. They want to move around. That's interesting. King of Staves. Ten of staves. The nine of staves. For the for those that it's um that need clarification, the staves would be the wand suit. I don't want to make assumptions. Eight of staves. The seven of staves. This one has that same look that the uh, queen does in the face. 
The Six of Staves. The Five of Staves. The Four of Staves. The Three of Staves. The Two of Staves. And the Ace. Queen of Vessels, so this would be the Cup Suit. The Page of Vessels. The Knight, there's the King, the Ten of Vessels, something interesting about having everything through the lens of stained glass, like all those little panels, the image is being fractured. Almost like depending on the angle that you look at the meaning of the card. Uh, slightly different every time. I feel like it kind of choosing that as a form or as a way to display that image in, in symbolism. How like light refracts and distorts sometimes. Kind of like reminds, I feel like it's a reminder for the reader, that kind of idea. The Nine of Vessels. The Eight of Vessels. The Seven of Vessels. I don't know why, but aesthetically, this might actually be my favorite so far of the cards in this deck. I'm just, I'm just like, I just kind of want to like play. I probably should stop that, huh? Okay. Six of Vessels. Sorry about that. I was not expecting that to happen while I was uh, recording. Um, I'm also recording on my phone, so I was like, okay, what do I do now? Pause. Okay, let's see. So we're at the Six of Vessels, and we've got the Five of Vessels. The Four of Vessels. The Three of Vessels. There's the Two. The Ace. The World. Judgment. Very interesting the way that imagery is uh, works with the style. Thoughts are percolating. They are percolating. All right, let's see the sun card. The moon. With that lobster being front and center like that, the thing that's coming to mind um, 
there's a band called Primus. They had a song a couple years ago called um, Tragedies Are Coming. And the video, the singer is um, dressed as a giant lobster for the entire thing. Or parts of it. It's just like... I feel like that's like superimposed on that in my brain for some reason. And it has zero connection to the card. Except that he's dressed as a lobster. Let's see. The star. The tower. It's very vibrant. Devil. Temperance. Death. Oops, I picked up two by mistake. Let's see, the hanged man. True story, when I first started learning the tarot, every time I pulled the hanged man, if it was right side up, I thought it was upside down and vice versa. <laughs> I had a little trouble with that. Just because the figure is upside down. This is an interesting detail. I know there are other decks that do this, but when the hair actually follows the course of gravity, I think that um, I think that's a good detail to remember to do. Justice. Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. The Strength card. This one's lovely. The chariot. The lovers. The hierophants. The emperor. You know what else I'm noticing about some of the faces, what, what makes them seem out of place, like have that um, sort of vibe, is that where every other piece, if there's a fracture meant to be there, like the through line it goes, but it doesn't if there's a face there. And I think that's interesting. The Empress. High Priestess, the Magician, the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, The Nine of Pentacles. Oops, why am I flipping it? Ah, that's not how that works. Here we go. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. It's a glass blower. That's interesting.
Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. It's the Five of Pentacles. It's an interesting image for that, I think. Here we have like because it's like the theme is like stained glass for all the images and then you have a broken stained glass window inside as the five of pentacles imagery four of pentacles the three of pentacles The Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Swords. We were looking for you, lady. Okay. Page of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, so let's see here. Now, I know some of the round decks, there's like something about the directions having a meaning or adding a kind of meaning, but I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing that in the booklet, at least right now, but um, I will explore it another time. For the moment, I do. I'm very curious. I want to see how this shuffles. Let's see if it uh, flies anywhere. Let's see. I'm not sure how well. I'm doing all right. I gotta go slow though. How would you riffle shuffle a deck like this? I don't think it would work. Let's see. And then we'll pull something. For the collective, any messages? that need to come through okay and I've never worked with this deck before so I might refer to the book just to see if there's any kind of difference in uh, what I'm perceiving when I pull but the, yeah it's not too bad it's a little bit of getting used to in terms of handling the the shape, but they're kind of, they move more easily than I, than I thought they might. Let's, they have a nice slide to them. Okay. Two of cups or the two of vessels. And when I pulled it, it was like that. Um, yeah. Partnership, romance is possible, uh, camaraderie, good feelings between two people, meeting someone, um, and getting along. Sometimes a meeting of the minds, not necessarily though. That's more three of cups energy. Let's see what the book has to say. But yeah, it could be a date. Date coming up for somebody. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Is it any different in here? Probably not, but... I am in spirit. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so when you go into the book, the way they do the minor arcana, they like list all the aces together, all the twos, threes, all that stuff instead of um the way it's organized in other kinds of of um guidebooks. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, two vessels, a genuine union between two people. So when they say union, you know, and like it, with a standard deck, I we talk about this too with the cops where it would be like, you know, it could be friendship, could be business partnership either, more likely it's something on the emotional um, scale. So very frequently it does indicate romance. But if there's somebody you haven't, haven't talked to in a while and you're wanting to talk to them, you should do it. There is the... Uh, the card spread and that is the tarot of the cloisters. It'll be interesting to see 
how this how this works. I do love the feel of the round. Very interesting. So let's see. And I like that's kind of cool. Woo! I probably should have gone the other direction. They do that's kind of neat. I like the way they spread that way. Anyway. Thank you for hanging out, and I will. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, please a like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. If there's a deck that you want to see that um, you're curious about, but you're not sure if you want to get it for yourself or whatever, leave a leave a note in the comments below on the unboxing videos. Um, if I get enough people interested in the same deck, I'll, maybe I'll I'll do one. All right, thank you guys, and I will see you the next time.